Hello, Mr. Red here. Today is October 7th, 2016. It's about 9.30 in the morning. No, about 9 o'clock in the morning. About 70 degrees out here. I'm in Abita Springs, Louisiana, my, uh, my own backyard here. I'm only about two miles from my house. And today our job is going to be bees in a trailer. I want to show you uh, where the, uh, the bees are coming into this trailer. They're going to go ahead and, and take this trailer out and they, they need to have the bees removed uh, before they take this trailer out. And so I'm going to show you right where the bees are. There, I guess it had a tree limb hit it on this corner right here. And you can see the bees flying in and out. Now this is going to be a kind of new one for me because I'm not used to tearing open uh, trailers. Uh, I'm really wishing that Wreck-It Ralph was here on this job because I know he, he would make short work of this. So I'm going to have to just muddle through it. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, start cutting out some of that, that tin um, around there and trying to uh, get a way to expose that comb. Um, like I said, this is all new to me, so I'm sure it's not going to look too pretty on the video. But by the grace of God, we'll open it up, find our bees, start backing them up. And of course, we're going to be looking for that queen and trying to bring her home with us. So I'm going to go ahead and light the smoker up and uh, smoke these bees and start cutting them away. Let's do some bee wrangling. Fortunately, that comb only went back about eight inches, six inches to that backboard. So that's gonna make it real easy for me to start pulling that comb out. Now I gotta put all the uh, um, vacuum cleaner up here and the box and uh, I'll start getting busy with these girls. Time to do vacuuming.
I really think that uh, Wreck-It Ralph would have been proud of me the way I opened up this trail like a can opener. It actually worked out pretty good. Maybe not for the bees, uh, but at least for the removal part of it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the the what's left of it. <laughs> if we can see through all these robin bees. There it is, folks. Uh -huh, I pulled out. That was probably the second to most honey I pulled out of a hive this whole year. I had no idea how much honey was in there. I'm going to wait it later and find out though. I did not find the queen again. But I've still, there's still a pocket of bees that actually underneath that roof line. Right in there. Right there. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the, uh, the honey robber. I'm going to spray it up in there. I mean, the robin bees, it's phenomenal. It's just, look at, look at this. It's just phenomenal. The noise out here. <laughs> Let's see if we can get on the table. I mean, it, they're all over everything. But you you got to expect that. I mean, there's not much nectar flow going on right now, so these bees are just trying to get stores for their own hive. So it's really, I'm not, I'm not going to do any more vacuum other than when I see pockets of still bees. Alright, let me go get that honey robber and do a squirt and see what happens. Oh yeah, the smell of honey robber. It's like napalm in the morning. I've got all the stuff picked up off the platform. The scaffold worked out perfect again. Well, this is one of the Abbey scaffolding, um, and it, it really did work out well. I and mean, it was it was a great platform to work off of. I had the you know the vacuum cleaner and the table all set up here, and it was really good good position to work off of. And uh, I mean, there's I mean, this whole top is full of honey. I'm not going to even I'm actually going to uh, leave the scaffolding here for at least another day because I want to come back out here since I didn't find the queen and. When all this robin um, goes off, I'll come back tomorrow evening and uh, pirate it around through, through that mess up there. Well, that is a lot of robin going on. I didn't realize when I first did this that, that the comb had actually jetted down um, into this little section right in here. So I just cut off the big pieces and then I knew it was full of honey, so I was just going to go ahead and come back and peel it down more. And I really kind of thought that on this section over here, which was all that brand new combed honey over here, that that's where I was going to find the queen. I thought they had chased her over there. And I, I pushed back the uh, insulation, sprayed my bee robber up in there, honey robber up in there, uh, to no avail. So again, I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed that I, um, I vacuumed her up. You gotta love that sound, huh, folks? If that doesn't make your heart go pitter-patter, you must not be a beekeeper. Before I get all this stuff loaded up into the truck, I want to uh, show you the uh, what we pulled out of this um, hive. Here's our bees right here. Bees, and once again, no queen. Hopefully she's inside of there. I, I kind of think she is. Um, I, I'm saying we got that between eight and 10,000 bees in here. Let's go take a look at the real booty over here. All right, folks, you gotta check this out because this is phenomenal. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to kind of like be quick because there's a, still a lot of robber bees out here and they're gonna wanna just get in here. But this is the main bulk of the, of the honey right here. I mean, this is some gorgeous, gorgeous honey. And um, oh, I wish you could smell that. That is, oh, man, that is so good. Oh my goodness, I wanna eat some of that right now. So this is probably about, I'd say between 60, 70, maybe even 80 pounds of honey in here. 
This box is chock full. And then this is all the, the cut out, the little parts right here, and then that from that last long piece of comb that I pulled out. Right here. There's all this stuff right here. And this is a good 15 to 20 pounds of honey right here. Look at all these bees. It's crazy. All right, I'm gonna get this stuff loaded up in the truck. Well, I'm gonna head up to the Abbey right now and uh, go ahead and release these girls um, and set the combs up. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign off of it right here. So I, I really, really thank all my new subscribers, old and new, and all the people that you know hit that like button up on me. That's really great. Really appreciate it. So for me, the bees, the monks. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all very much for watching. Keep on watching. And I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm headed up to the alley.